the cleanest and most reactive way to communicate between components in LWC. Let me quickly create two LWCs. One is parent one and another one as child. Parent. In this video, we are going to learn how a parent component can share data with its child using the API decorator, the cleanest and most reactive way to communicate between components in LWC. When we want to send data from a parent to a child component, we use the API decorator in the child. The API decorator makes a property public, meaning it's visible and assignable from the parent component. This allows reactive data binding. Whenever parent variable changes, the child automatically updates. Now let's go back to our uh, VS code here I've set up my VS code on the left side and my org on the right side where we will be deploying our LWC components into the app and we will see it in real time now let me quickly create two LWCs one is parent one and another one as child parent component and then let's choose the default location let us quickly create as child one before we go into code on the same location all right now we have parent and child locations child components now let's quickly grab our code and then let's quickly add this code for the JS and then let's quickly grab the content for child component and then API message let us import this API as it is also from the LWC package okay and finally we have to add the targets and then expose it in order to make it available for our uh, app page so let's add the targets for it let me quickly grab these targets from the other LWC here I'm adding targets for record page app page and home page but since I'm using only app page i can remove the rest of two but it does not make any harm keeping those so it's up to us okay now let's go through the code before we debug here i have an input lightning input element which says label enter a message for child and then on change event so on change i'm calling this handle change method let's see what's happening inside handle change as soon as handle change is called the message variable message property which i've created is being assigned to the input value which i'm entering and then in child component i have the api message and in html i'm just displaying the message that is being received from the parent now let us deploy this and then see how it works okay there is no child component since i've already called my child component in parent first i have to deploy the child component in order to make itself available for parent once that is deployed i can go ahead and deploy the parent component or right, still it says no parent no markup for parent all right it got deployed now let's refresh our browser and then edit the app page in order to drag and drop our component so let me click on settings click on edit page and once you are at the edit page scroll to the bottom and you can see inside the custom tab we can see the lwc's which we can drag and drop since i made parent component available to app page i'm dragging and dropping here let's drop it in the main component and then save it okay once it is saved we can go back and then start seeing here here we can see uh, in child component we only message from parent and the message message is being passed from the parent as we can see here hello from pair and that's being already sent but if we enter any new value that will be dynamically changed and then passed into the child this communication is one way from parent to child the child can read data but cannot directly modify the parents variables this ensures predictability and keeps your component hierarchy clean and also when the parents variable changes the child re-renders instantly there is no manual update needed let's recap what we have done so far in this video so we used api in the child to expose public properties and then bind parent variables directly in html attributes also we did the data flows from one way from parent to child reactively in next video we will see how a child can communicate with its parent using custom events